And draft week is finally here. We've been waiting for this, one of the most anticipated drafts we've had for a while in Chicago. The Bears have the number nine pick in the first round, four picks in the top 64. I'm a little extra excited because there's a potential for a Northwestern Wildcat, Peter Skaronsky, <laughs> to go in the top 10. But, Jesse, who would you like to see the Bears take with that number nine pick? Yeah, I think Poles and the Bears have kind of made it almost easy on themselves because of what they did in free agency. I think they have to focus on the trenches. And if uh, Jalen Carter or even Tyree Wilson are there, you take one of them, without question. If the, somehow one of them falls, you take one of them. If not, Character issues notwithstanding with <laughs> yeah, Jalen Carter. Look, I think – I think he's passed those tests so far. It's fo it's NFL football. Everyone's going to have some <laughs> No choir issues. boys here. Yeah, exactly. If they're not available, and they probably won't be, that's where you have a decision to make. But you go maybe to the offensive line. If you can trade down in the teens and still take one of the best offensive linemen, you do that as well. So, like I said, I think he set it up because of what he did in free agency. Now focus on the trenches. Yeah, I mean, I think you have to address the offensive line. I mean, Jalen or Justin Fields cannot – be running every other play like there, there has to be some stability on the line build out from there they're gonna have a lot of options in that number nine spot I feel a little differently on the Jalen Carter issue I, I think if you're in position where like you feel like this guy gets you over the top and you know you're a Super Bowl contender if, if you add him you take on some of the character risks with it um, but given the ample opportunities offensive line you know where, whether you're looking at tackle guard like they have to add somebody there. And you're trying to build a culture, too, right? I mean, as we're starting from the ground up, you have to think about cultural issues. Well, you, you do, but, I mean, sometimes talent, you know, wins out over that, and especially in the NFL. I mean, you know, they're not all choir boys in the NFL. But from the, the conversation so far, it's, it's obvious the championship, the last time the, the Bears won the Super Bowl, was built, as Jesse said, as Megan said, in the trenches. You have to go offensive line defensive line and you can't have enough and once you do that anybody that knows the NFL knows that's where the games are won and lost and the Bears to continue to solidify that position on the offensive line for fields is probably the way to go you know and I think there's so much emphasis being put on it and you're right there is a possibility they could trade down again uh, but this is not just about this first round or this draft right they have two first round draft picks next year so this is all being done with the long-term planning and Given that, how, how would you like to see this team constructed overall, right? If not just the individual pieces, what do you think the philosophy should be for the construction of this team? Well, it's what Megan said. You have to protect Fields first and foremost. Give him the best opportunity to succeed. And that is, of course, the weapons, and they've addressed some of that at least. They even signed a running back, so they could probably draft one late. But mostly it is about the offensive line. I'm a big Braxton Jones fan, so... In my world, if you can check off left tackle even before you get to the draft, that's pretty amazing. Now, they may want to add someone that can play both sides, um, maybe Paris Johnson. Um, but but if left tackle is done, then you could deal with, deal with center and right tackle. But make that an all-pro line. Then we'll really see the best of Justin Fields. Well, and I think it's so huge that, you know, with the trade with the Panthers, that you get a guy in DJ Moore. That means you don't have to use, you know, all those picks that you just mentioned in the top 64. You don't have to necessarily use it on a skill position like wide receiver. You can continue to dress line. Maybe you look at secondary if you want to really look for skill positions. But, I mean, I think it comes down to the line. They cannot afford to put – Fields at risk injury wise, um, and you have to be able to find some offensive flow. 